Kelly wrote recently with a question we get all the time, which has to do with the two hour consultation. What do you do if you don't need two hours? It's just one room or it's two rooms and you finish early. I can tell you what not to do. Don't do what I used to do, which is say, oh gosh, we have 45 minutes left. I tell you what, why don't we rebook and I'll come back and answer some more questions when, when you have more questions. What would happen then is the client would have to phone our office two or three times. A little game of phone tag would ensue. I assume would finally book me to go back and do the second part of the consultation, which meant I had to put on my makeup, I had to put on my high heels, I had to drive to the client's place again. And then when I got there, there weren't 45 minutes worth of questions. There were almost an hour and a half or two hours worth of questions because they done, had done their homework and beefed it up a little bit. So don't do that. Now our policy is very firm. It's a maximum two hours. And you can learn a lot about clients during that two hours as well if you finish early. Because some clients will say, hey, we finished early. That's awesome. You're fast. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Other clients will kind of run out the clock, making up stuff, asking you questions they don't really need the answers to. But they're going to make sure you stay there the entire two hours. And that gives you a little bit of it of information about the people you're going to be working for. Great question, Kelly. Thanks so much.